1-1 game as we go to the third. Germany and Minnesota. German team from Ramstein Air Force Base. And a lot of the families actually moving at the end of this tournament. Some of them already have. For more on that, we go downstairs and join Adriana Monsalve. Adriana? Well, Dan, definitely three families won't be returning to Germany after the Little League World Series. I'm here with Kathy and Robert Gonzalez. They are moving to Hawaii. How nice. Uh, Jake, your son Jake told us that he was very excited about the babes and beaches. So what do you think? What are you looking forward to? Great. Um, we're looking forward to the sun, uh, the beaches, and the different culture that we can experience there in Hawaii. That would be great. And what is it like moving around with the Air Force? Well, we've been very fortunate. In the past 16 years, we've only been to two places, two bases in Alabama and Germany. So uh, we're finishing up our career here in Hawaii, so we're very excited about that. Well, Hawaii sounds great to me. So what do you think, guys? I think Hawaii sounds great, too. It's a pretty good place to move. And there he is, Jake Gonzalez, their third baseman. Left center field. And Stokes puts that one away. Well, Hawaii, that's a pretty nice spot. Yeah, I mean, look at that, the surf. That's some big waves right there. I don't know if I'd actually be going out in that water because it's just such some big waves, but, uh, you know, I know he's got to go to Hawaii, work there. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm sure he's going to be working more than relaxing and get to enjoy that as much. Still a good place, though. I mean, ESPN does a number of events from Hawaii over Thanksgiving college basketball. You have the, the Maui Classic. I get a chance to go last year to the Diamond Head Classic in Honolulu. A uh, college basketball tournament okay. that takes place over Christmas. And we show it off on the ESPN family of networks. Tyler Ullman back to work. Again, Germany a little short pitching-wise. It's one of the things... That's amazing when you look at all these teams that have gotten here. You need so much pitching, especially with the rules that limit pitch counts, etc. And, and again, that's for the protection of the kids. Oh. But Ted, did he go? They feel the third, and Ted Collins says he didn't go. But you're talking about four different two pitchers balls, for chance. Germany not eligible to pitch. You're absolutely right. I mean, coaches have to be aware of that. It's something that they're caught when choosing this team as well. You know, choosing an all-star team, things, these things are taken into consideration as well. But those rules, it's not a detriment. It, like, you, you hit it right on the nose. This is, those are great rules to protect the players. So ineligible pitchers, Minnesota, with one pitcher that cannot pitch, but... For Germany, Mackenzie Mueller, Daniel Harrington, Pierce Tujo, and as well, Robert Steed, none of those guys can go today. Taylor Bluston is the only one that can't pitch for Minnesota. Bluston, who just reached via the walk, and is now replaced with a special pinch runner, and Mikey Siegel running again. I see Michael Siegel do him a backflip over there as he's running around the bases. That'd be great to see. <laughs> see him come around and maybe score with a backflip. <laughs> a round off that handspring, crossing the plate. <laughs> and it's a 10. <laughs> oh. Did you pitch when you were in Little League? I did. I pitched. I my father taught me every single position. He said, you're going to learn every single position so you also recognize the value of every single position. And on top of that, I was aware of on plays where every single person had to be. That on every ball hit, you can't just be sit standing around. You have to be somewhere when a ball is put into play. So I think it just helped me with the instincts of the game as I got older. What was your second favorite position besides shortstop? Actually, growing up, my favorite position was catching. Loved catching, loved putting on the gear and getting behind the plate and being a part of every single pitch. Yeah, 
as I got older, I got wiser. <laughs> and so, yeah, we see there, we see Daniel Harrington right there going back there, but I got wiser. See, he's a big boy. My catcher's equipment was a lot bigger than I was. <laughs> I got to tell you, folks, it's hysterical. A guy that played as long as you did in the big leagues, and you won't stop touching the equipment. <laughs> We come up here, and he's sampling all the gloves. He's putting the helmets on, putting the catcher's mask on. Oh, I like this glove. This is a nice glove right here. <laughs> I I, you know what? That's that's what it's about. It's about, you know, the brand new glove, the smell of the new leather, the smell of a brand new baseball. I mean, this you love the sport. That's what it's. This is what it's all about. Kids were always talking about what they love about Little, Little League World Series, okay. all the free stuff they get, the gear. Free stuff is good. <laughs> Two down now with a man aboard. And Colin Quinn will come up to hit. All right, where you, now, you're tough though. You, you like checking out all this equipment, but j let's just say at the big league level. At the big league level, if your glove was sitting on the bench and I just came over and I put your glove on. Don't do that. No. <laughs> That is a no-no. There's no way you are putting your hand inside my glove. I'll tell you that right now. Thank you. We wouldn't be talking right now had you done that. All right. <laughs> I, 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 was brought, I respected my glove so much, the gear I had. Into center field. And it falls in front of Stan Hurley for a base hit. Colin Quinn aboard. I would not. When I when I was six years old, my father bought me a glove, and it was kind of a it was a major league quality glove. It was a Mizuno glove. The quality unbelievable. I know the value of it was through the roof, and I I couldn't believe he bought it. I had that glove all the way up until my I was six years old, till my sophomore year in high school. That's the glove I used, and I never threw it. I would never throw the glove down. I always placed it down. I took care of it. I appreciated what you know what my parents did to buy me this glove, and just appreciated all my equipment in that way. To the point when I was in the big leagues, that I would always I never threw my glove. Well, maybe a couple of times there might be image of me tossing it down, <laughs> maybe throwing it more and uh, disgusting myself, but not often. But I would place my da my glove down on the step all the time. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, we, we found it. Little huh? Nomi, 1979. <laughs> all America, Georgia Tech. Six time All Star. <laughs> Got him at first. Good play. And they get verbatim by a step. Close play at first. We go to the bottom of the third, still tied at one.